We shan't allow you to fight the Eastern Federation. Do our lives mean nothing to you? Come on, you moron. We know you're working with the Federation. So, um, this is nice sitting all together like this, but why are we here again? You remember what I told you after we won yesterday. Demand number two. I want you, Elf. Uh, Feel. I'm gonna reserve the right to alter your memories as I please. What? If I'm not mistaken, you need us to spy for you. You want spies? The reason we bet at Manatee's race piece is because if we did it, it would make you, Miss Kurami, spy of the Elven Guard, come out of hiding. And when you did, we could beat you in a game. Mm. You thought that if you could somehow give your memories to me during the game, you could bring me over to your side without using the pledges to force me. However, even though I agreed to help you, I didn't see anything in your memories that would lead me to believe that you can beat the Eastern Federation. Are you sure you can do it? I said I could, didn't I? Anyway, I've brought the lot of you here for a very particular reason. Before we go any further, there's something we must do. This next step is crucial to us fighting together. What is it? This sounds bad. Let's get into it! Yeah! What do you mean by intimate? I'm going to assume you mean introductions. Hmm? <laughs> I'm Kurami Zell. Nice to meet you. That's it? Just your name? Don't you have anything else to add? Sorry. That's all I want to say. Um, she's 18 years old, which is the same as me, 158 centimeters tall. Her measurements from the hey, top stop! are- stop! That's not fair! And her bras are padded, so she's actually a size. Fine, fine, stop! I'll do it for real, just shut up! But it doesn't make any sense to do my introduction before you hear Feels first. Why, hello there, everyone. I'm Feel Neilvalin. And all of you except that hideous demon over there can feel free to simply call me Feel if you like. Why, it seems you've already become prejudiced against me. Have I done something to offend you, my dear? Let's see. I suppose it might have a little something to do with the hundreds of thousands of my people slaughtered by the hands of a certain filthy flugel during the Great War. Or something like that. Defendant Jabril, your plea? Goodness, I don't know what to say. See, this is what happens when forest creatures learn magic. If you dumb little animals hadn't put an anti-flight spell over your city, I never even would have noticed you. Your little trick brought nothing but tragedy. I fell out of the sky and got a big ouchie on my head, you know? It's not my fault that you all ended up dying for putting me in a cranky mood. Judgment, the defendant Jibril is guilty. Aw, poop! Okay, Aww. since we're gonna work together, I don't want any hard feelings. What could Jibril do to help you forgive her? Okay, I'm afraid that's a very difficult question for me. Hey, feel. Hmm? We're going to need her power for Sora's plan to work. Could you do it for me, at least? All right. How about you lick my feet and say, please forgive me, my lady feel, and then I'll consider pardoning you. Huh? What's this? 
You long-eared, tree-hugging mongrels certainly are cocky, considering how pitifully weak and easy to kill you are. And the verdict? Jibril is guilty. Ah! What? No! I seriously have to lick this gross little monster's hooves? Serve your sentence. Ah! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> This is the biggest pile of bull crap, but if that's my master's order, then I have to obey! Please forgive me, my lady feel. Since you're so uh, pathetic, I suppose I must. Wow, that went better than I thought. Uh, my, my master! Licking this vulgar forest turd's feet and having to apologize is surely the ultimate humiliation. And yet, why? Why, when I think that I'm doing it because you ordered me to, does it excite Ow. me so? Tell me, master, reveal this sick, Who is blank that they're capable of doing this to a flugel? Excuse me! Huh? If we're talking about hard feelings, then I have my share too! That girl used elven magic to cheat against me and I'm still super pissed off about it! It's your fault for being a sucker. Ah! Upon closer inspection, maybe he's just a bully. <sighs> Feel is my childhood best friend. But to be specific, she's also my owner. Huh? Hmm? The Kingdom of Elvengard is a democracy, but despite that fact, they maintain a social hierarchy and promote the control of lower-ranked races. To put it bluntly, their society revolves around a slave system. Huh? You mean, Kurumi is... That's right. My family has been slaves of the Nilvalin nobility since my great-grandfather's era. I was born and raised among elves. The Nilvalin is one of the most famous families in Elvengard and has served in the Senate for generations but Feel never seemed to care about my position. Are you hungry? Feel, please don't be so nice to me anymore. If you treat a slave like me as a friend, then you might get in trouble. <laughs> but she did treat me as a friend. That doesn't bother me. Of course, in public, she can't allow herself to show any signs of it. To be honest, I think the whole idea of slavery is rather cruel and unnecessary. Since the last head of the family passed away about a year ago, Feel is now their de facto leader. So, from the perspective of society, our relationship has become even more complicated. Wait a minute, Feel. Does that mean you're an acting Senate member now? And since you're sort of plotting in secret to free the slaves, wouldn't that make you guilty of treason? Huh? huh? I know, right? It's like a huge deal! Yeah, a huge deal. You were actually able to follow all that. Oh my god, I'm gonna pound you! Are you sure you're okay with this, Feel? I mean, considering your position, aiding us could lead to the destruction of Elvengard society as you know it. Oh, yes. I've already thought this through, and I'm okay with anything so long as Kurumi doesn't get hurt. I honestly don't care in the slightest what happens to my family or that kingdom, because they're a bunch of stuck-up pricks who can all die in rotten hell. <laughs> wow, Feel, that's a bit harsh, don't you think? Kurumi's all I care about, and I need to keep her very close because she cries whenever I'm not around. I don't cry! I never cry in my life! Dude, when you lost that battle against no, me for the crown, no, you were no, bawling no, like a little baby. I did baby. not! I did nothing of the sort! I did not cry! I had oh something dear, in my eye. I was afraid that would happen. Don't listen to them! I didn't cry! Just because you've known me since I was a baby doesn't mean you can treat me like a kid forever, you know! Kurumi tries to push herself too hard. Oh, there, there. She seems kind of more like her nanny than her best friend. <laughs> anyway! Enough of this crap. It's the Eastern Federation we've got to start worrying about now, all right? After their ruler, the Shrine Priestess, came to power, they became the third largest country in the world in less than 50 years. No one knows how great a threat they truly pose. Also troubling is their mysterious blood destruction ability. Have you thought of some sort of plan to deal with that? I'm on it. But first, if we're gonna fight together, it's crucial that we be on better terms with each other. We need to strengthen our bonds as friends. And the hands down best way to do that. I'm not gonna take a bath with you, so forget it. <sighs> but how did you figure out my plan? Oh. Give me a break. Did that idiot seriously forget that he gave me all his memories? Too bad we walked all this way. Kurami, it is very important to have a good rapport with the people you'll be teaming up with. Are you freaking kidding me? Yes, that's correct. In the world we came from, a land called Japan, there was a traditional ritual for getting to know each other. Hanging out while naked! I haven't used the pledges to force your will in my favor. Thus, my only hope is to rely on the ways of traditional culture. Seems to me that all you're relying on is worldly desires and ulterior motives. Jibril, please explain our ways to the girl. Ahem. The concept of carousing while naked dates to the Japanese Civil Wars when carrying. So as you can see, 
because both the ancient Romans and the modern Japanese shared this unique concept of a public bath, the mm -hmm. comics became an unlikely hit, and its popularity grew mm -hmm. nationwide. Do you understand now, Kurumi? I'm not even sure what we're talking about anymore. Don't worry about it. I'll just go ahead and refuse for you, all right? What? Uh, this is what Kurumi you? is really trying to say. She doesn't want to take a bath because she's self-conscious about her tiny boobies. Oh, my God! <laughs> Oh, it's fine, Kurami. Don't worry. A woman's worth is not determined by such itty-bitty trivial things. Fine! I'll get in the bath! If I do that, then you'll get off my back, right? Yeah, baby! Oh! Uh, don't we have any shampoo that isn't so weird and degrading to use? Uh, 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 Kurami? What were you so worried about? Your figure's just fine. You wouldn't know because I wear baggy clothes. Master, did you predict that something like this would happen? But of course. Phil, I mean, Milady Phil, is the magic you're using on Kurumi an illusion, or did she actually grow some tatas in the last 20 minutes? Huh? Kurumi, he figured it out. I think it's rude to be using magic like this when we're supposed to be bearing our true selves. Um. But you said something about an alteration yourself? How gracious of you to ask! <clears throat> Is it possible to turn me into a girl? What? Then I too would be able to bond with you ladies without hey, worrying about what the social are you barriers. Doing? Stop Why, it! I sure can. Well, let's get cracking! But it's permanent, so I won't be able uh -huh. to turn you back. Is that okay? <laughs> Unacceptable. Well, they certainly seem energetic, don't they? And it's delightful to think that there's still some humanity foolish enough to challenge us. Wouldn't you agree, Eno? Wholeheartedly, my lady. We shall soon see how well their brash demeanor serves them. You two have but one responsibility. I hope you are well prepared, Izuna. Hey, Sora! We didn't even get a chance to talk today. Oh, where the heck did he disappear to now? Sora? Huh? Wow, so your strategy is to read books in the dark? Super awesome plan. Honestly, this is Shiro's area of expertise. It's pretty beyond me. I'm just here to keep her company. So in the meantime, I'm just reviewing today's bath. <gasps> if you're expecting me to get all flustered like that Steph weirdo, it's not gonna happen. Too late. You're blushing and you've assumed the stance of a Steph. <laughs> you came to ask me if I think we can win or not, didn't you? <sighs> yes, I suppose I did. I've reviewed your memories closely, and from what I've seen, all your victories have been extremely close calls. Like I said earlier, this time you're fighting the Eastern Federation. You can't rely on chance. One misstep and you're doomed. I don't think that you can win the same way again. Okay, so I'll just have to avoid making any missteps. Can you honestly be sure that you won't make a single mistake? <laughs> no, that's impossible. If it were just me, I'd screw up for sure. But see... Blank is a whole different matter. Huh? If I make a mistake, Shiro pulls through. That way, the two of us safeguard each other. Oh. What's the matter? Don't you want to be friends with me anymore, Kurumi? Oh, that's not it at all. But if they find out about us and something bad happens to you, then I'd never forgive myself. As long as we stick together, you don't have to worry about that. Huh? If I ever make a mistake, I know that you'll be there to help me out. Uh. Kurumi, it would be perfect if you were always by my side, looking out for any mistake I might make. Then I'd never have to worry about losing the person I love. <sighs> that thing you said just now? Did you get that from my memories? Maybe. Anyway, the point you're trying to make is that I wouldn't be doubting you so much if I could see your sister's memories along with yours. I get it. You've really found your wings, haven't you? Hmm? Hey, Shiro, they say anyone can change their fate. Wonder, Wonder if that's, that's true. true. <gasps> it's a little cheesy and all, but I think the sentiment is nice. You should be proud of yourself. Sh shut up! It must be hard to have such a talented sister. You've got your pride to think of. Don't let it get you down, big bro. Get out of here already! <laughs> if you stay in Elkia too long, people will talk. Tomorrow's the day, isn't it? Huh? I want you to know I'll be rooting for humanity. Of course you will. You're human too, you dummy.
Here he comes. You have some nerve, asshole. That looks like you don't deserve the crown. I can't believe we're just leaving through the front gate like this! You two must be insane! Can't you see the people are rioting? Oh, I can see it. I started it, after all. Uh, what do you mean by that? Well, looks like they made room for us, so no worries. Let's head uh, off, shall we? Uh, First stop, to visit Izuda's house! Let's go! What? Why are you ignoring me? Welcome, we have been expecting you. Now then, while the game is being prepared, we ask that you please wait here. Okay, but don't forget to let the audience in. You're still feeling up to this, right, Shiro? All green here. And how about you, Jabril? I am an ultimate weapon. How I feel has no relevance to the situation. Simply say the word and I will most graciously give you my all. <laughs> Oh, I don't feel too good. Oh, by the way, Steph, remember that game we played where I threw rocks at those birds? Well, you still owe me something for losing that one. Uh... Hey, Jabril, can you keep the war beast from hearing what we're talking about for a little while? Certainly. I can surround you and Dolly in a spirit barrier to keep the sound from getting out. Alrighty then, Steph. I'm going to cast a very special spell on you. I've got a bad feeling about this. Now, everyone, please take a seat in your designated booth. Before we begin today, Allow me to review the contents of each party's pledge. The Eastern Federation bets everything it owns on the Lucia continent. And the Kingdom of Elkia bets its race piece. In other words, all the rights of humanity, their territory, and everything they possess is on the line. The game designated by the Eastern Federation is between our chosen representative and the two rulers of Elkia, along with their two attendants. The game will be conducted with these five players. Should the Eastern Federation win, as is our custom, it will demand that all memories regarding the contents of this game be forgotten by the members of the opposing party. This includes all of the players, as well as all humanity viewing the game. Also, the rules will not be explained until the game has begun. So then, once you hear the rules and decide you do not want to participate, the match will become null and void and your memories of it wiped. Are you absolutely certain you want to proceed? Oh, yeah, sure. It all sounds great. But there are two things I want to make clear first. One, if we decide to default, all we lose are the memories of the game. If your true goal was to create some impossible game so that you could wipe us clean of our memories, you better give it up now. Hmm. And two, if we catch you cheating during the game, it's grounds for an immediate loss. Well, that's one of the 10 pledges, so I'm sure I don't have to remind you, but I'll be watching. Very well, I will interpret that as an agreement and ask that you state the pledge. Ashente! Ashente, thank you. <laughs> Let's do this, Izuna. <sighs> I won't lose to losers. Thank you. Hey there, Izuna. Yes. What now, please? When's the last time you really had fun playing a game? <gasps> huh? Now then, are all of you ready to begin? Okay, Shiro, don't let go of my hand. You neither. All right. Let's start this game up. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I sense the presence of magic. Kurumisel, what's she doing here? And there's someone else. <laughs> Aw, you're trying to pretend you didn't notice, but I saw your ears move when you felt my magic. Phew. 
it doesn't look like we'll be able to interfere with the game from here. Yes, it's okay, I'm aware. What's more important is the fact that we're watching in the first place. Right. So the Eastern Federation can't use any obvious cheats. Sora... I hope you know what you're doing. So, he's sharing information with the elves then, little shit. You think you're quite clever, don't you, boy? But you're nothing more than a fool if you think the War Beast will allow you to beat us at our own game. Are you sure we're really going to be okay? I have a feeling we might not win this one. Come on, Steph. Do you need me to repeat what I told you earlier? Don't uh, you remember why I said I needed to start that riot? Could you please not answer my question with another question? I need the people of Elkia to be angry because I don't want an audience who's sure that we can win this thing. The way it is now, everyone is watching us as hard as they can, making sure we don't lose on purpose. As a result, it's harder for the Eastern Federation to use obvious cheats. There's no more trusted observer than someone who suspects you. Uh, how very crafty of you, Master. I'm sure they're gonna try to use as many tricks as they can, and with their War Beast abilities at their disposal, we're gonna need an observant audience to watch our backs. Victory will depend on how quickly we can react to the expected and unexpected, and how we can use both to our advantage. <gasps> Jesus Christ. Uh, where in the world are we? Uh, well, I've never seen anything quite like this before. Uh, it's so loud and colorful. Master, where are you? Uh, oh dear, Master, what's wrong with you? We're all down. This is impossible. Sorry, humanity's finished. Are you freaking serious? After all that smack talk? Uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't expect to be sent to Tokyo. I can't do anything. Here. It's our home, but we're the white team! But we can't help you. I'm so I'm sorry. Please handle this on your own. We can't do it. Please try to understand. I'm so sorry. Please forgive us. What the hell? Love No doubt in my mind. I believe in you, Shiro. You can do it!